Hey guys, welcome back. Now you're on the right channel. Uh, I'm just displaying my buddy's uh, logo here from SNA, my buddy Corey. Go check out his channel if you haven't. We are, uh, we just got home last night from uh, TST's big event in Tarrytown. Got to meet up with uh, some incredible instructors as well as uh, just incredible techs from around the country. Uh, Steve Scott from the UK. Um, just amazing man the, the people that showed up to this event and uh, I got to network uh, with these guys over you know over the internet obviously and via telephone and uh, some of these guys are very very good friends of mine and I finally got to meet some of them in person Michael Nicholson's one of them uh, you know I got to meet a bunch of these people in person for for once which is fantastic we had uh, we had just a, the who's who of uh, YouTube there, man. It was amazing. Uh, Flat Rate Master, uh, Eric O, um, you know, uh, just uh, so many people, man. Um, it, it was great. You know, obviously Keith DeFazio was there. Uh, I rode up with him, as a matter of fact. Um, it just we, we had a just an amazing day, man. I wish I could have stayed longer and spent more time with these guys, and I hope to see them again soon. But when I got back, I decided I wanted to, when I got up actually today, I decided I wanted to uh, come down and finish a, working on a, uh, uh, another pressure sensor. I have talked about these things before, building your own sensors and stuff. I've done a couple of videos. Uh, I'm learning this stuff. Uh, one of the classes was on in-cylinder, as a matter of fact, by John Thornton, which is fantastic. Uh, but I'm, I'm working on uh, upping my game on this stuff, okay, on in-cylinder pressure and... Uh, basic pulse sensor testing and such like that. Uh, these sensors can be used for um, intake mi intake manifold pressure uh, readings. You can uh, do tailpipe readings and you know, exhaust. Uh, you can use them to see if you have excessive pressure in the cooling system or crankcase. There's there's a multitude of things that can be done with them. So uh, we're always learning new techniques and uh, trying to trying to utilize the non-intrusive methods. Okay, of uh, testing. So, uh, guys like Brandon Steckler uh, that are out there, you know, teaching these classes, uh, if you get a chance to take one of them, do it, because they're, they're, their knowledge is just amazing, okay, they, they're, they're, they're on another level. So, uh, in any case, um, I decided to make another one of these housings, and as you can see here, it's, uh, I machine this one a little different, I, I try different things, I, I experiment uh, when I do this, so... This one here, I used a stepped uh, nose on it so that I can put a different size hose on the thing if I want to, uh, you know, easier. Uh, sometimes I'll make these conical so that you can just put a different size hose. It doesn't matter, um, you know, whatever you whatever you like. But the inside is machine stepped. It's uh, designed that way for the sensor that's going to be inside this thing. Uh, the nose of the uh, housing, the back part of the housing, that's the nose and the press fit. So, uh, you know, when they go together, they're tight. I knurled them, or I started to knurl them anyway, so that you can get a better grip and uh, pull them apart. They're obviously supposed to be tight. You don't want any movement in the sensor, but uh, they work very well. Um, I've had some guys asking about these, and I just wanted to show them on YouTube to you guys. Uh, I uh, Unfortunately, I do not sell these. Okay, I will not sell these. Um, there are there's a gentleman a good friend of mine who makes them uh, for sale but I uh, I will not sell mine I only make these for myself and uh, I've given them to a couple of uh, friends of mine uh, to test you know and use or whatever they work fine uh, but I, I don't want to uh, get into that thing where I'm making tools or uh, anything like that to sell so just uh, you know just want to answer that before anybody asks um, but I just wanted to showcase it what I'm going to do is uh, you can see the you know uh, the back here is drilled all the way through the housing that's where the leads are going to go I prefer to use um, uh, extended leads for banana jacks on it uh, you could probably I could probably incorporate a BNC type connector on here if I wanted to just to save more space and whatever but I like the banana jacks um, personally, so I use them. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go upstairs and solder the sensor into place and uh, the leads. And uh, 
I will show you it when it's finished. I'll show you the finished product with the leads and everything. And, uh, you know, that'll be that. But, um, yeah, I thought that you guys might be interested in seeing this. And that's why I'm sharing it. All right, guys. So, as promised, here's the finished product. Um, leads are soldered in. Nice long set of leads here for this thing. Okay. Uh, and the sensors are all assembled, as you can see. Um, I mean, I can't demonstrate this on a vehicle right now. It's pretty late. But I can kind of just show you that the uh, sensor does work. At least that we get a uh, waveform from it. Plug my Pico leads in. And I can set my scales obviously here. Uh, go to 2 volts. Hmm, it's breathing good. Okay, so it does work. And uh, I'll show you here too while I'm at it is that, like I said before, I had made four different ones so far. Four the, well, they're pretty much the same, but they're different uh, uh, fittings on them, as you can see. I just like to experiment with that. Depends, uh, you know for different things but um, they all work the same they're all banana jacks and uh, different lengths so uh, the other thing I want to show you guys before I go is I've had a bunch of guys asking recently about uh, coil on plug pickups for, uh, for secondary ignition and uh, this was a prototype I had made uh, it's not pretty but uh, I did this quick just to see if it work and it works fantastic. I have one that's uh, bought and I have this one and uh, this one works uh, literally just as good if not better so um, what I'm gonna do is make a nicer one and I think I'll take you guys along for the ride when I do. Alright guys thanks for watching uh, this will probably be the next thing I do um, as far as uh, you know do-it-yourself type stuff or homemade tools or whatever Again, I'm not going to be selling these, um, but I'll show you how to make them. All right, so uh, that's the best I can do. Sorry. I uh, hope you enjoy this. See you guys soon.